Hello guys, in this video we will be discussing about the MUX. So I have opened the Xilinx IC Navigator. Now the language which we are using is the Verilog. So first I will create the new project. The name of the project, let us name it as a MUX. Let's save it. You can save anywhere. I have a specific folder to save. It's HDL. Okay next now here uh, you need to change if it's vhdl change it to the verilog and that's it you need not to worry about these all these are uh, fgpa related and those all we are not doing that so just change to verilog if it is vhdl click on next finish okay after this click on this and add a new source which is the verilog module and the name of the module is mux using data flow so you will be using the data flow style of modeling so i have named it mux data flow and just if you want to give the input and output just give here and select it as input or output and I don't want to give here, so I'm pressing next finish. Let's remove these all. So, uh, like this, you will get module and the name of the module. And here, within the parenthesis, you will need to specify the ports, and after that, semicolon and end the module. So, let's specify the ports. Here the port will be the select port which is used to select the bit i mean which is used to select the data and say we are creating two is to one max so a comma b i'll explain what we'll be doing is so we are have assume this is a max so we will be having Two inputs which is a is one input and b is the other input and there is a select line which is sel this is a select line and we will be having an output yes i forgot to mention in the module but i will mention there is an output so based on the select value these both uh, at the output a or b will be available so based on the select value and there is the output say y now we are done with the mentioning the ports now let's uh, describe them as an input or output so our inputs is the select a and b these three are our inputs and our output port is output y so uh, okay we are done with describing the input and output by default without mentioning the variables we will describe the ports uh, which we call them as variables they are net type variables they are net type variables so if we don't mention them as a net type variables also they by default they are net type variables so our output y is a net net type variable so what is a net type variable uh, like a net type variable is continuously driven i mean let's uh, go to the so this is a net type variable that means it is continuously driven what do you mean by continuously driven whenever the inputs a b or select whenever these change the y value the output will be changed this is uh, what uh, what do i mean by continuously driven so y will be a net type variable you need not to mention by default the y is a net type variable and after that we will be using the assign statement here the assign statement is used to uh, is used for continuously driven i said right that y is continuously driven by whenever a b or uh, select changes y has to change so for specifying that 
will be using the assign statement assign y equal to select and then so here we will be using an operator which is the, this operator now I'll explain what is this now basically what this statement is saying a sign which says that it is it should be continuous driven that means whatever it is on the left hand side should be updated every time whatever is on the right hand side changes that is you uh, that is said by the assign so and what is this uh, question mark and colon operator so whenever the select is one a will be assigned to y and whenever it is zero b will be assigned or whenever select is true true in the sense it's one or true so a will be assigned to y and whenever it's false which is zero b will be assigned to y right it is equivalent to a max if you observe whenever the select is one a is assigned to y and whenever it is zero b is assigned to y now this is how a max will work right so in this way we can describe a max using a single statement so now let's save it and synthesize it in order to observe its schematic rtl schematic now this is a data flow uh, style of modeling here you just need to know how the data flows there are four ways of uh, uh, there are four ways of creating a module one is behavioral structural the data flow and the switch more and the switch switch level okay if you want to know more about this I will be uh, attaching the links in the description you can uh, read so now let's observe the RTL schematic how does the RTL schematic look like add arcs, create a schematic now this is how uh, the RTL schematic these are the inputs and why is the output double click it okay This is how our RTL schematic looks and also if the select and A and B are they are not a single bit then multiple max, maxes will be created I mean uh, now these are single bits select A B these are single bits right so when they are not single bits you just get your copies of the maxes you get so many copies of the maxes now that's it you can find this code in the description you can download as well now that's it for this video thank you for watching